back to another YouTube video. If you are new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as you can see by the title down below, today I'm going to be showing you guys some must-have nail tech products for beginners. These are some products that I've used when I first started to become a nail tech. So I just wanted to sit down with you guys and share these products with you as well. I still use these products. These are great products. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these products that I have, I will be sure to link them down below. So without further ado, I'm not going to ramble too much. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, guys. So the first products that we have are some gel polishes. And all of these gel polishes are from Amazon let me move them up for you guys so these are the gel len gel polishes um these are the first gel polishes that i purchased when i first started doing nails you know i was dipping and dabbing and if i wanted to be a nail tech or not so i didn't want to spend too much money on gel polishes so these gel polishes were about 15 dollars um they're great gel polishes. I've used them many of times and I still use them to this day. So I'm just gonna swatch a few of these polishes just to so show you guys um, what they look like and the um, consistency and things of that nature. So this is, well, they just come in numbers. This is 023. I'm just gonna swatch this color just to show you what it looks like. It's a pretty, like purple color very cute and these are pigmented these are great polishes especially if you are a beginner you can definitely purchase some of these polishes they work just as well as all the other polishes that are out there all right so this is what it looks like after one cold this is amazing polish like, I would definitely recommend gel len polishes. If you are on a budget and you are starting your nail tech journey, this is um, a good product to start with. So I'm gonna swatch one more. So that's the first one. Oops. That's the first one. Um, and then I'll do this color, 048. This is a pink color. I literally just used this color the other day. Consistency, very thin polish. Um, see, these are great polishes. Just like um, in the Madam Glam review, I only used one dip. I didn't have to go back in again. To get more products and it's super pretty so yeah these run for about i think it's 15. i'm not not i'm not that quite sure but i will link down below the prices of everything and where you can get these from again these are all from amazon and yeah you cannot beat this this is a good starter polish if you are starting off your journey Definitely check these out on Amazon. I give these a 10 out of 10. I still use them today on clients. So yeah, I think they're worth it. Okay, so the next product will be the Young Nails Protein Bond. So I know everybody uses this, but this is the first primer that I purchased when I first started to become a nail tech. And I still use it every day with every client. This is a really good primer. You won't get any lifting or anything like that. Um, I definitely recommend this as well. This is the only um, primer that I use. I do have other ones, but I noticed that the other ones that I do have, they like stain my client's nails. And this primer does not do that. So um, you can try different primers that's out there. If you do have other primers that's out there, please link them down below because I'm up to trying new things. But as far as primers go for now, this is my go-to. This is the only one that I'm that I've been using um, until I come across a good one, a better one. But yeah, this is a good starter. Um, I will link down the price down below because I am not sure off the top of my head how much this costs. But this is a great primer. You cannot go wrong with this. So yeah, 10 out of 10, definitely purchase this if you are a new nail tech. So 
So next on the list, this is my monomer bottle with a cork. It's very important to get a monomer bottle with a cork because it keeps the, the strong odor of monomer smell like inside the bottle, if that makes sense. So getting a cork stops that stops the fumes from you know spreading in your workspace. So definitely recommend a monomer bottle with the cork. This is from Young Nails. Again, I don't know the price. I will link it down below um, once I'm done. But definitely a cork monomer bottle, guys. They do have other cute ones, but you know you want to minimize the smell as much as possible. In your workspace so if that's something that you're interested in like if you live in an apartment and you do nails from your apartment this is a good starter um, monomer bottle for you definitely recommend 10 out of 10 okay guys so this is next on the list this is a big bottle i can barely even fit it in the frame so this bottle is a 32 ounce bottle i do i did have i did start off with the i think it was the eight ounce bottle but now i've upgraded and i got the 32 ounce bottle but this is the monomer that i started off with i love this monomer it does have a strong smell it's not like um odorless or anything like that i think they do have odorless monomers but this is a great monomer it's universal which means you can use it literally with any acrylic powder that you use and it will work the same so i know some people say like if you use young nails monomer you have to use young nails um acrylic powder that may be the case for young nails but i know for me a secret i've been you all my powders are me a secret so i know that for me a secret it works like for everything i do use it with my um valentino perfect nude color and it works just as fine so i definitely recommend me a secret monomer if you have um other acrylic powder other yeah other acrylic powders you definitely can use this with this so this is a 10 out of 10 this is the bet almost the let me see the second best monomer i do have another monomer that i use right now that i love it's not in this video but if you're interested in it let me know but this you can't go wrong with it definitely buy it um this is from amazon i get all my mia secret products from amazon so check out amazon for all your mia secrets uh products and let me know what you think if you have this let me know if you like it if you don't like it your pros and your cons make sure you comment down below okay so next we have the mccart halfway nail tips these are the nail tips that i first used on my first client and i use them till this day i live die and breathe for these nails they are so good. Um, they are not flimsy whatsoever. I know some nails on Amazon, like the clear ones, like the stiletto clear ones, are really, really flimsy. And I have time sh have trouble um, shaping them. But these are, like, strong. These nails are super strong, easy to shape, easy to cut down, easy to file. Definitely recommend these. If you haven't tried these, definitely purchase them and let me know. How they work for you and if you have these already let me know if you like them if you don't like them and also comment down below what nail tips that you use because i am looking for some new nail tips um these like i said these are the only ones that i use so i am very um open to using other nail tips as well but as far as these go these are some good halfway nail tips Make sure you order the right ones because I did make the mistake the first time of ordering. Um, I think they were, what are they called? Um, the French nail tips and I don't like them at all. So make sure you order the half, the half cover nail tips from a cart. I will be sure to link these down below as well. So let's move on to the next product. Okay guys, so the next products that I have are the Mi Mia Secret um acrylic powders and these are like your starter acrylic powders if you are becoming a new nail tech i definitely recommend you get these acrylic powders because they're easy to work with they apply like butter and i have nothing bad to say about about these acrylic powders they're fairly cheap they're not expensive at all and they're just perfect powders for you to just practice with practice your beads with or if you're practicing on family and friends 
this is some good powder to work with so the first color that i have is cover beige um it's like a beige color i'll swatch some of these for you guys in the next clip but i'm just going to show you which ones that i have so this is the one in the cover beige and then i have this one this is a pink acrylic powder and it's just a pretty pink acrylic um just if you're doing um, practicing nails it's a pretty pink color and then i have a white acrylic powder for you know ombres and things like that this is the um, the this is the white that i've used that i used when i first did my first ombre set so yeah it works good for me um i'll tell you a little bit about this white in a second and then we have the cover rose acrylic powder this is also another shade of pink it's a pretty pink as well it has sparkles in it and then we also have another um cover pink acrylic powder it's a little bit darker pink with glitter as well and then lastly i have the mia secret clear acrylic powder which you can literally use for for anything if you're doing a full set if you're doing your ink encapsulations um anything like that this is this is the only clear powder that i have and this is the only clear powder that i use i just love it and it comes in this big eight ounce bottle so i i have it for a really really long time this is this is actually my second bottle so yeah it lasts it lasts you a really long time um but these this is like the acrylic powder starter kit this is like everything that you need to get started, honestly. You don't need anything else. You don't need to go out and buy um, a whole bunch of other acrylic powders. Like, just start small and work your way up. You don't need to just buy everything at once. These are fairly cheap as well. I'll definitely link them down below. But, you know, start small and work your way up. There's nothing wrong with that, um, especially if you're on a budget. I mean, if you are fortunate enough to go ahead and just buy everything, then that's fine as well but this is all you need to get started honestly this is all that you need um so right now i'm just going to open these up and we're just going to swatch them so i can show you the colors of each one okay so the first color that i'm going to use is the cover beige acrylic powder by mia secret so i'm just going to pick up a small bead just to show you guys the color of it and how it applies yes so this is like a pretty nude color especially if you are doing your ombres or things like that amazing 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 i love me a secret powders i mean you can't go wrong with them and the next is the white i find that this one gets like what's the word like it's a little bit beady if that makes sense like it's not as smooth as the rest of them so here's the white it's a nice white but when i'm doing ombre i see that it gets like be little beads in it sometimes so that's the white acrylic powder and then next will be the cover rose and this is a pink as well See, I have a lot of it. I haven't used it that often. I'm just gonna pick up a small bead. And that is the cover of Rose. I think that this whole collection, like the whole cover collection, they all favor each other. They're not that off. Um, they kind of look the same. So yeah, that's the cover cover rolls and then the next one be, will be the cover pink i think all three of these covers look look alike okay so this is the cover pink okay it's a little bit darker but very similar to the other ones move a little closer for you guys I don't know if you guys can see the glitter on camera, but they all have glitter in them. And then next will be the cover, I mean, not the cover pink, just the regular pink acrylic powder. So this is just like a regular powder if you're doing a full, a regular full set. 
if you use this. I don't think, can you guys see that? Let me get another bead. I think that was too small. Okay, so that is the regular pink acrylic powder. It's a pretty soft pink. And then next is just the clear. I mean, I can show you guys, but it's just clear. I just got this one, so it's... Oh, it's not even open yet. <laughs> Let me open it. <laughs> so this is just a regular clear for your, you know, your encapsulations and things like that. It's a it's an awesome clear. It's, it's really good. So yeah, I feel like these are the perfect colors that you need to get started as a nail tag. I mean, you don't need nothing more. I think as time goes by and you practice more often, then you can branch out and you know you can buy more colored acrylic powders. You can buy better gel polishes. But just to start with, this is a good way, you know, to begin. Um, definitely, what is the saying? Bank for your dollar or something like that. <laughs> yeah this is this is this is good i have nothing bad to say about it like i said i still use it to this day um but without further ado let's move on to the next product hey guys so the next product is my alpha brush in the number nine this is my very first brush that i purchased when I first started doing nails and I still have it to this day and I also still use it to this day and I started doing nails in late March and I took my first client in April so I still have the same brush since April I actually just ordered one like two days ago because the hairs are starting to come out so I think it's time for me to get another one but the fact that this lasts from April to January is amazing to me and I've I've used this I mean I haven't used no other brush so I think that's very good these are very long lasting so if you are looking for a brush um, definitely check out alpha brush they are a little bit on the pricier side so this brush number nine this is $27.99 and then there's like shipping I think I paid $32 for this brush I mean, it's worth it. It's a little bit pricey. You can go on Amazon and find a cheaper brush that'll probably work just as just as well. But if you're looking for like a quality brush, definitely check out Alpha Brush. I will link them down below. And let me know what brush you use and if you like it and if you recommend any other brush that is out there. All right, let's move on to the next product. Okay, guys. So the next product is the KDS Nail Glue. This is my number one glue. I do not use any other glue. I have no problems with this glue. And this is some strong glue right here. I don't have any problems with nails coming off or anything like that. Uh, I've been using this glue since day one, since April. So definitely recommend this glue. I have just don't know of any other glue that's out there. So if, if you know of any um, or you have a favorite glue that you like, Link that down below and let me know so I can check them out. But yes, definitely um, check out KDS Nail Glue. I don't think they have a website. I got these from eBay for about $6.99. And I just ordered another pack from Amazon. So Amazon also has KDS Nail Glue. And if you have Prime, it'll be here in two days. So definitely order you some good nail glue. Don't get you any cheap nail glue or anything like that i know like walgreens has the kiss nail glue uh i'm not sure how good that works but you know invest in some some good nail glue guys next product okay, so the next product is nail files so these nail files are from amazon and these are the nail files that i used when i first started doing nails um i don't use this now because i feel like it's flimsy and I also feel like it doesn't give me that perfect shape that I'm looking for um but you know to if you like it I mean 
it's up to you personally i don't like these i use the tammy taylor nail file and i love it it's sturdy it gets, it gets me the shape that i want but that's a little bit on the pricier side they're like 27 dollars um for the tammy taylor so if you're just looking for something cheap you know something to start you off definitely try these out i will be sure to link these down below also um this is a 180 you know it's just flimsy in my opinion um maybe i'm tripping i don't know but let me know what nail files you guys use because tammy taylor is quite expensive and i'm definitely looking for some new files that are sturdy you know give you that good shape so if you know of any please link them down below but without further ado let's get right into the next product okay so next is a nail clipper this is just a regular nail clipper nothing too crazy um this is from amazon as well it came with a pack of three there's a pink one a black one and a blue one um i think they're about five dollars i will link them down below but this is just a regular um clipper Nothing special about it. It works fine. I think they all work fine. Doesn't really matter where you get it from. But this is just a product that I've ordered when I first started doing nails. And I still use the same one. So this is a good one. It's still sharp. It still cuts perfectly fine. It didn't get dull on me yet. So that's perfect. Um, and yeah, get you get you a good nail clipper. If you use scissors or if you just use a regular straight edge nail clipper, that's fine. Um, I just prefer this one. I just think it's easier, you know, all you have to do is put your, put your, put the nail in and boom, it's gone. So it's just easier for me. Um, and yeah, nail clipper from Amazon. I'll link it down below. Okay guys. So the next product here is my LED light for drying gel polish. This is not the light that I started out with. Um, I did start off with another cheap light from Amazon. It was all white and it said like sun on the top of it. And that lasts me about a good two months. It wasn't really a good lamp and I only paid like $20 for it. So I wasn't really expecting that much from it. Um, but this one is also from Amazon. It is a good lamp. Um, I'll probably get an another one soon. But I have no problems with this one. It just... It dries the gel polish is fine i don't have any issues with it so i will definitely definitely link this down below if you are interested in getting this led light um i think it ran for about 30 dollars, which i don't think is bad at all i mean i don't think you need to spend you know like 500 dollars or 300 dollars on a light when you could just get it from amazon and it works the same exact way uh so yeah this is just a regular light in the back here it just has your different settings so like 10 seconds 30 seconds 60 seconds and then 90 seconds and it also has the plug in the back as well and yeah i like this i like this lamp i mean it's easy you could just tuck it away somewhere really quick it's small it's durable and yeah um let me know what kind of lamps you guys have down below because i am interested in getting another one i was thinking about getting two so my clients could just dry both their hands at the same time but i don't know if that's extra or not <laughs> but yeah let me know what kind of lamp you use okay guys and so this is the end of the video these are all my must-have products that i used when i first started my nail tech journey i just wanted to share with you all um if you enjoyed this video Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, we will be back with more videos. Peace.